Hello and welcome to another episode of Train Sim World 2, where I'm doing my best to drive virtual locomotives without causing major disaster. Or do I? Anyway, before we begin today's episode, I would like to remind you to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done that already, and use that bell to make sure you won't miss out on any content from me. I would also like to encourage you to join my Discord server, where you can interact with me and other Train Sim World fans, talk about the game in general, share some of your cool liveries, or just chill. You can find link in description down below the video. Right, guys, I'm back. And now it's time to drive some trains, shall we? <laughs> okay, so in previous episodes, in a couple of previous episodes, I've been mostly driving passenger services along German routes uh, in, well, in Köln, Aachen, Recently we moved to Main Spessart Bahn and today I shall continue on Main Spessart Bahn. However, this time I will take a freight train. Yes. Uh, it will be a little bit less exciting journey because you don't have to make so many stops and uh, you don't really have that much to, to operate. Uh, it's pretty much a straight line run from point A to point B and that's how most of the freight trains run in Trains in World 2. Uh, you don't really get too many of occasions to actually perform any stops, uh, wait at the signals. Uh, yeah, the game completely eliminates that element, even though it's quite common occurrence. Uh, you usually start in front of red signal and it changes quite soon. And, and that's going to be the thing today. So, I found a very interesting and quite short scenario uh, that, uh, that should fit our today's video. And we're gonna also complete it once again. I already uh, fulfilled that scenario previously uh, during one of my test runs uh, earlier on. So unfortunately we are not aiming for any medal. I already got a gold one for, for this one anyway. Uh, right, so uh, enough of me talking. Let's jump into the game, shall we? Okay, so here we are, as you can see, a uh, brand new mine mini, uh, it, it creates a lot of lag, I, I, I can already feel that my PC is greatly slowing because of that mine mini, I, I don't know what they did, but during the game things should run a little bit better, so my apologies if the video goes a little bit slower or feels uh, a bit choppy at that point, uh, we'll, we'll get get out of that that many as soon as possible I, I promise right so let's begin auto runner and let's look at this mission okay so here we are welcome to Hagenbrücken after a short layover it's time to continue this train through Aschaffenburg okay we got quite questionably nice weather uh, it, it's actually really terrible anyway let's let's sit in driver's seat so that we won't get too wet there we go oh yes that beautiful silence okay before we sit down on our seat we can turn on pzb sifa uh, we can set our lights uh, correctly because running forward with red lights is, is not entirely the greatest idea. I can see that the brakes are off, uh, so I'll leave the parking brake on for now. And you should remember that it's engaged, so it's gonna be very important later. Okay, let's sit down. Uh, let's turn the wipers on. Full strength, perfect. Right, uh, master switch to neutral and charge the brakes. There we go, it's on neutral. Brakes are charging, you can hear the compressor. There we go, set the master switch forward and train brake to full service. Master switch forward and train brake to full service. There we go. Now set the brake, uh, train brake to position 1B. 
There we go. We are there. The part where when permitted. So now it's a good time to release this brake. Uh, we can engage AFB. 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 We can set our cabin. There we go. We are ready to go forward. Let's set AFB to 40 kilometers per hour. As soon as we depart, that's the speed limit. Perfect. Now we can release the brake and gently apply the pressure or throttle. Don't add too much uh, because of the weather. As you can see, this train needs a bit of a force to start rolling. There we go. We are now rolling. PZB immediately kicked in with the limiter because we just begun to move. Our next light is expected to be red. Let's confirm it. And we can now carry on. Uh, we have to remember that we are following that passenger train. It shouldn't be too much of a big deal. Uh, let's confirm SIFPA. Let's turn on the front lights. Perfect. Uh, we can even push the throttle lever all the way forward. It shouldn't matter that much at, at this point because the train is being operated by uh, uh, AFB, uh, which is basically a cruise control. So I won't go over 40, no matter what. Okay, so we got that nice 15 kilometer run. Uh, let's confirm SIFA. Uh, one thing about this particular train. It is considered a heavy freight train. So it's a lower train. Our general speed limit has to stay below 105 kilometers per hour. We can't go any faster. Uh, if we try to go any faster, PZB should immediately engage brakes and stop us. Uh, so I won't go anywhere above uh, 100 kilometers per hour. There are three types of trains, yes? So there is a lower type of train, which I'm operating now. Uh, there is a medium one. Uh, that can go up to 125 kilometers per hour and there is upper one which we could see on Schnellfaststrecke Köln most of the passenger services are upper trains and they can go up to 165 kilometers per hour so in our case uh, even though the speed limit on the tracks is now 120 I'm not allowed to go over 105, which also means that as soon as my train clears that speed limit, I will be able to speed up, but I won't be able to go over 100 effectively. And because the common practice is to keep your cruise control or IFB set up 5 kilometers below actual speed limit. Uh, so that's how we are going to set it right uh, I need to go a little bit further we can verify that by checking the last wagon obviously in reality you should know how long your train is uh, we should yeah I, I think we've already cleared the speed limit section so now I can speed up Let's gently push AFB forward so that the train won't go into a wheel slip. It is already struggling, you can see that. Yeah, I can push it slightly higher, 90. And that's 100. And that's going to be our top speed. Uh, the rest is going to be handled by AFB. There we go, 101 kilometers per hour. We are below 
the speed limit 102 yeah that's that's as far as IFB can control it we are going downhill so that's perfect and, and for now we can carry on 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 that speed as long as the speed limit won't fall below 100 kilometers per hour I don't really have to worry about anything yeah I can just carry on uh, we are keeping higher speeds mostly because we want to keep up the pace obviously uh, since we are lower class of train we are expected to be slower uh, we could even go lower depending on the weight of the train its length and, and various other different factors uh, it is also appropriate to keep it lower uh, usually driver would get that from like a dispatch center or whatever they they go for uh, from when they get this service assigned they should get informations about uh, parameters of the train and its top speed uh, so top speed is generated or it's being like mathematically generated based on various different factors and train parameters uh, so it's not always set in stone that you have to reach 100 kilometers per hour and um, perhaps this train might have got assigned 80 and that's perfectly fine right uh, we are approaching speed limit we need to reduce our speed down to 55 because obviously we are trailing another train hopefully I, I'm gonna make it I got 38 seconds to do so, so obviously that's a pretty long time, however, yeah, I, I might be a bit too slow on, on that. Let's reduce it down to 40, because I can't be sure. Okay, we made it within 38 seconds, yes, 38 seconds. Uh, so everything is perfectly fine. I will keep my speed down to 40, slightly lower than I should. Uh, I can see that the next distance signal is already clear. Uh, so I can technically release the PZB. Should I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can try it. No. Oh, there we go. I can clear it now. And since the next signal is clear, I can go back to full speed. Oh, uh, that was a little bit too harsh. Yeah, the wheel slipped. I need to be very gentle while speeding up. Since my throttle is set to maximum. And in those conditions the wheels might slip if you push it too hard above your current speed because obviously the train will try to reach that speed as soon as possible anyway we are back on speed yeah we we encountered slight bump but we can now carry on hopefully the train that we are trailing managed to increase the distance between him and us we still got 7.9 kilometers to go let's stay focused but now all we have to do is to operate CIFA yeah signals are green distance is green perfect we can carry on very good right where was I yes uh, normally the train could get a lower speed limit based on its weight and length uh, so since the game doesn't give me that information I assume that we are still allowed to go with the maximum speed limit for the type of train we are operating uh, hence why I'm keeping my speed at 100 kilometers per hour uh, but uh, it is not 
inappropriate in in this weather condition to, to go slightly lower let's say 80 would be very safe speed for for that train and probably it was it would cause no issues whatsoever although it might cause some delays on the tracks because eventually if there is any train trailing you um, he will have to adjust his speed based on your position and, and which block you are occupying so again keeping up uh, the pace is also important because that allows everyone to keep to the time schedules uh, but the safety comes first safety always comes first and if you have to reduce your speed because weather is absolute rubbish then obviously the driver has to take the right decision yeah uh, your main goal is to deliver the cargo in a safe manner uh, so obviously in that weather conditions where the tracks are wet uh, obviously your uh, braking distance will be much longer uh, so you have to also think about that uh, in this scenario yes i could easily go through this scenario without any slowing down or stopping if i would keep my speed at 80. i can guarantee you that if you go 80 you can never be wrong in this scenario. Uh, the game doesn't really require you to keep a specific pace. Uh, on the real railway, yeah, things are slightly different. Obviously, there is a stress uh, that comes from fulfilling the task on time. Uh, obviously, you've got some uh, superiors that are above you. They don't exactly have to understand that, uh, or they don't exactly have to acknowledge that uh, you might really want to do things the safe way uh, because obviously there is another boss above them that is pushing on them and they don't generally care because at the end of the day you are the scapegoat and yeah, the company would uh, fire you not him for, for asking you to, to do the wrong thing because you have to still follow the right procedures yeah, you are the person to, to eventually make the final decision, regardless of what your boss is saying. Uh, right, we are now approaching another speed limit. I'm gonna confirm that. Obviously, we got onto a thousand hertz magnet. Let's confirm so far. I will keep on reducing my speed down to 40 kilometers per hour. Okay, the train is slowing down nicely. Uh, thankfully, because I'm lower trained, uh, even though my speed limit is much lower that I need to achieve in order to fulfill PZB requirements, uh, I get much more time than 23 seconds that I would get with upper train. Uh, obviously, medium train will have 29 seconds. Uh, so it is adjusted appro uh, appropriately. It's not always 23 seconds. Uh, like it would be ridiculous to try and slow down like 4,000 tons of steel uh, within 23 seconds like you would have to smash your brakes and that creates a risk of uh, breaking the train apart in some cases if you would just slam on the brakes uh, mostly because you are using air brakes and, and it's like they, they technically yeah they have their limitations obviously uh, the brake pipes need time to fill. Uh, train brakes are not applied equally across the entire train, and depending on on its length and weight, yeah, it might cause a lot of problems and strain on the couplers. Uh, so, in that case, uh, you just gently try and lower your speed. You got more time to to bring your braking curve to appropriate levels. Uh, right, I am now entering, deciding it is going to be appropriate to reduce my speed even further. Uh, I will soon hit a 500 Hz magnet because I'm expecting to stop at this siding. So I will lower my speed down to 20. Uh, because eventually when I hit 500 Hz magnet uh, my top speed will be reduced by PZB down to 25 km per hour anyway uh, so why should I go any higher 
Uh, it will also help me to stop at the right location. Uh, obviously, again, uh, I'm basing that on um, on the weather conditions as well as the weight and length of my train. Uh, so it will take time to bring this train to a stop even from such a low speed. Zifa. There we go. We need to watch out on Zifa. I can already see the signal in front of me. Uh, I can't really make the sig well, uh, the aspect that's on it, but I predict that it's going to be red based on the previous signal and the fact that I'm basically at my final destination. There we go, five, uh, 500 hertz magnet, which means that I can't go anywhere above 25 kilometers per hour. I can already clear, uh, well, clearly see the signal. It's still red. Uh, so now I have to work my way to bring the train to a stop. I can reduce the throttle. We won't need it. I'm not going to touch a uh, AFB until I engage the brakes because touching AFB will mean that the train will automatically start stopping. In fact, I could do that and as you can see, yeah, the train is being brought to a stop. Sifa. I can now turn on the uh, turn off AFB and help myself with a brakes. And there we go. We gently managed to stop this train so I have to set the master switch to off there we go master switch is off uh, I need to engage parking brakes train brakes are also engaged just in case and now I have to disembark device to close the doors and the end of the scenario is just right here in front of that shed so let's have a look. Uh, 2230 points. Uh, I think that's the top score you can get for this scenario. Uh, as you can see, that's where we had to slow down in front of that trailing. Uh, well, that's uh, well behind uh, in front uh, behind that trail uh, train that we were trailing. Uh, it was probably performing a stop on on that station. That's why our signals were temporarily red. Uh, but it's not a big deal, uh, we were traveling slow enough, uh, pretty much stable speed at 100 km per hour. Everything went perfect, we managed to stick to proper braking curves. And the mission went smooth, it took us 18 minutes and 56 seconds, pretty good time for, for that mission. Unfortunately, well, uh, the game won't award me a medal because I already had a gold medal. But I can guarantee you that score of 2230 is more than enough to uh, get that medal. Uh, temporarily, while trying to speed up in here, we encountered a slight wheel slip. So again, uh, try to be a little bit more gentle than, than I was uh, on the accelerator when we are trying to regain your speed. And that's it. That's how you complete this scenario with a gold medal with CIFA and PZB on. Uh, as you may have noticed, uh, traveling uh, with a freight train is not that difficult. Um, it's much easier than traveling with a passenger train where you have to operate a little bit more. Uh, you have to distract your attention from just driving to, to also performing a safe stops, stopping at the right uh, positions. And very often uh, you travel also at the highest speeds. Uh, so you have to work a little bit harder on the brakes. It's not that easy to bring um, a train to a lower speed from 160, even though your train is much lighter. Uh, it still takes that precious time and you get only 23 seconds to do so. In our case, we had plenty of time. 40 seconds is much more than enough, uh, at least as far as the brakes in Train Sim World 2 works. And I hope that will help you. Right, guys, uh, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you want to never miss my further content, uh, you might want to use that bell as well. 
Uh, also, don't forget to jump on my Discord server. Uh, you can interact there with me and other Train Sim World fans, Train fans, and and various different other people that already joined. And finally, well, have a great day, and I hope to catch you next time. Bye bye.